how God instructs us and, 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 and tell us how to deal with information. Allah said, If a sinner comes to you with the news, verify it. Let alone an unknown person. Let alone someone who is a sinner, racist, evil person spreading this lie. You know? And Najah Faraj, he blamed Andrew Tate for misleading him. That the guy was an immigrant. But Tommy Robinson, he said he was a Muslim. Yes, of course, it's, a, it's no good for feeling to see people accusing, especially killing children, which is that we have a clear cut proofs, clearly, explicitly, to say we're not allowed to kill children. Prophet Muhammad said that you know, in, in, the, in the war or outside war, but we, we know in the Bible you're allowed to kill children. The Bible teaches that in the Old Testament, yes. The Old Testament, he said, go kill the babies and the infants. Does it say that? Does he say that or not? Does he say that or not? Does he say that or not? You see, and that's why I want to talk about it. Because I'm asking him, we have ever started this playing around. Imagine we start. Yeah, you can go to court. Does he say it or not? Answer me. Does he say it or not? Put him on the camera. Does he say kill babies and infants? Kill babies and infants? In the Bible, yeah. Have you read it? I'm asking, does he say it or not? It talks about an event. No, no, I'm asking you, does he say kill a baby as an infant? He says as part of an event. As an event. So he says it, it does. No, it's a comment for the Jewish people because the Jewish people believe they still have to follow the Old Testament. Yeah, okay. Go so on. The, so the okay. question I'm Go on. Is question, sir. Earlier on, when we started, you, you, you said what? Sorry, he said something. Earlier on, you mentioned about calling on your brothers to defend themselves. Can I ask you to elaborate specifically? I mentioned on, what? Sorry, to call? Uh, uh, you call on your brothers to defend themselves. We'll if it's needed, brothers. yes. Yeah. But what do you mean by that? Because I mean, if they are attacked. No, I, I mean, no, 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 no. mean if, 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 in my example, if the, if, if the far right come into the mosque and try to harm the Muslims, then they have to defend themselves physically. Yes, but they're not allowed to. Imagine the far right is outside protesting. Yeah. Don't go and fight them. Yeah. yeah, the best thing also to call the, call the authority to deal with them, you know, because clearly it, you know, uh, I also want to mention, which is very interesting, these people claiming they're protesting because they want to take their country back. What they were doing? Stealing from shops. Yeah, goes Stealing from, what they doing? What they call it? Burning library. B please. These people are mentally not well. These people are racist. There's no justification for what they're doing. And I agree with what his name is. Starmer, the Prime Minister. Clearly he said they are evil. No doubt. Brother Andrew Tate, I couldn't believe it, tried to justify what they were doing. You cannot justify. Yes, if they have concern, yes, in this country, you allow it to protest peacefully, okay? Even though protesters do nothing anyway. But anyway, of course, country, you allow it. But attacking the Muslims for something that have nothing to do with it, clearly you are racist, evil liar. But is it possible that on the day, so for example, when the riots started on the Tuesday when I was there, yeah, I attended the visual outside of the town hall, then I went to the location where the girls were murdered, and about 300 yards around the road is when the riots start. But isn't it possible that the reason people behaved or reacted the way they did was because number one, they were provoked by the lies that were told by the media, and secondly, they were reacting in anger that three young ladies had been killed. Yeah, I agree with you because of the misinformation. However, they are human beings. They have their own intellect. They, they will not, like for example, in the court, one of them cannot say, you know, because of the misinformation on social media, that's what I did. What I did. Yeah, yeah. That is not a valid that's, reason. That's not a defense. That's not a defense. That's, that's, it. that's not a defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for example, when I see videos of the Zionists killing my brothers and sisters in Palestine, doesn't mean if I see a Jewish, person, a, Jewish, a Jewish person, I should go and fight him and kill him. No, because he has nothing to do with it. You understand? And this is the beauty of Islam. And this was exactly what our scholars mentioned, Sheikh Al-Islam Nutaymiyyah, said human nature, when we get angry, we like to oppress, okay, and transgress. That's why you need a divine legislation to control your anger. And Islam comes, for example, we have, from, from our human nature, we hate and we love. Islam comes in, and it shows you the correct way to hate and to love. When you hate someone, you should not, doesn't mean you should lie against him or oppress him. When you love someone, doesn't not mean you should aid him in his oppression and transgression. Okay? That's the Islamic.
Yeah, yeah, teaching. So, Shamsi, all I can say is thank you very much for engaging. That's in the war, which Prophet Sallam abrogated it. Excuse yes, me, sir. please, you cannot okay, compare this one to that one. Sir. Yeah, yeah, I'd sorry. Like to re -emphasize. Yeah. Thank you very much, Shamsi, for giving me this opportunity. Yeah. You always engage with street like I've had the chance last week to question Ali Dawa, okay. I've questioned the Sheikh, all of the heavyweights. People wanted me to talk to you because they see you as a heavyweight down there. Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Heavyweight. Oh, you're not one of the big boys, but the only person... I'm in love the old schools, but not the... Uh, the <laughs> not the heavyweight. Is Mohammed Hijab. He's hiding, he's hiding. We know Mohammed is hiding. So if you're in contact yeah, he's, uh, with Mohammed, yeah. then I want to talk to him. Uh, uh, Inshallah, I mean, uh, maybe he will watch you and you can. Uh, uh, and, uh, I, know and, uh, I know Ali sends it. So yeah, I mean, Ali, his friend, don't yeah, me. In closing, you, you can say anything you want to the camera. You've got two, three. I want to say something to you personally, like I said many times yeah, to you. Anna? Think about yourself. Anna? Talk about God. Let's have a discussion about God. Because I've seen you, you focus too much on people. What about you yourself? That's why you know the Quran, that's why the Quran teaches us. Look the beauty of the Quran, the teaching of the Quran. Oh, you believe. Save yourself and your family from the fire. You know, every part of your part of every part of your body has a purpose. What about you as a whole? What we're here for? What is our purpose? What we have to die? What will happen to us? These questions cannot be answered by scientists or doctors or philosophers. That's why you need to learn about Islam. You know, well, you, you never told me you believe. I mean, to, to answer your point, it's a good question you've asked. Yes. People often ask me the same question. If you look at what I do, I engage with everyone. Muslims, Christians, Jews, atheists, I mean, I do the same thing. I don't care who they are. You get, you, you get, you get what I'm saying? And I, it's, it's what I'm trying to do is to educate people out there in the bigger world what you have to offer, what they... And it's not... A, because if I give my personal point of view, I can't engage with everyone. What you're doing is that someone feeding everyone forget himself. I'm, That's what you did. I'm, I'm in order to help people, in order, sorry, sorry. In order to help people, you need to help yourself first, I okay? Because I'm what we say to you, I mean, like you look young, man, you have to tell me what you've been eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, 60 no, but what we say I'm to you, time, yeah, okay, okay, listen carefully, listen carefully. What we say to you, what do you believe? My belief is irrelevant when I'm, when, when I'm at speaker's corner. Ah, again, you no, see this, uh, no, this, uh, this, uh, irrelevant. My, no, my, re my religion or belief is irrelevant. No, but we just want to have a friendly discussion. No, 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 no not, not on social media, we're not. Why? Because, because. Because you believe in nonsense, isn't it? No, no, no. I no, bet you believe no, some no, mad no, stuff. I, I have beliefs. Are you Christian? I, Are you Christian? I, I will engage. Are you a Christian? I, I'm answering your question. So, I will engage with people I do not agree with. Okay, let's because engage there without, without camera. Me and you talk. Because it's important. Yeah, let's talk, yeah. I want, I've, Ali Darwa is going to take me to a mosque and I'm going to look forward to spending time in a mosque. You don't work for I'm, MI5, do you? I'm, I'm, no, I mean, I work for MI5. Man. <laughs> I don't need to. I, I I'm joking. You, know. you have your own uh, agency. <laughs> I've been invited next week yeah, to a church to live stream. Yeah, I'm willing to, you know, wherever. I don't care what religion. I don't come See, here. See, he's not answering just that. I'm answering. Are you a Christian? I don't come here to promote religion. No, I'm not asking you. At, at this moment in time, are you a Christian? As a are you a Christian? I am nothing when I'm here. So I uh, see. See, I'm not gonna. Engaging. I'm not gonna have interview with you no more. Like yes. Like I, need your, I need your help, buddy. Yes. So look, look what he says. Let's, let's